It is May 29th, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. If you're a poor person from a third world country, I have an incredible opportunity for you. You look into this orb so I can harvest immutable biometric data from your eye holes. It doesn't hurt, I promise. In exchange, I give you some of this shiny cryptocurrency that some rich dudes in San Francisco created out of thin air with zero economic effort. It's called WorldCoin, and its goal is to scan a billion eyeballs over the next few years to create a global identity platform and payment network. And no, this isn't the plot of a Black Mirror episode. It's a real project that just raised $115 million and already has over a million users. It's co-founded by the benevolent AI king Sam Altman and is backed by a bunch of VCs like Andreessen Horowitz, which is behind many other crypto projects like Alchemy Coinbase and Solana. And even Sam Bankman-Fried is an early investor. In fact, you may have already seen people wearing these WorldCoin t-shirts walking around your village putting these weird balls in people's faces. These are your friendly WorldCoin operators and every time they scan an eyeball, they get some crypto. It's an ingenious business model. It has all the same Ponzi-nomics of your favorite cryptocurrencies, but is hacking humans to do the actual physical labor of collecting collecting and processing biometric data. The way it works is it takes a bunch of images of your iris, which like a fingerprint is unique to every human, which is then used to verify your personhood so you can start using WorldCoin for everyday transactions. The actual images and biometric data itself is deleted from the orb, so there's no reason to worry about your privacy. The technology is actually quite transparent. They explain in great detail how the orb is manufactured and some of the source code is available on GitHub. Ultimately, it's just a machine that can establish proof of personhood. But why would we need a proof of personhood protocol? Well, the main reason is the rise of artificial intelligence and the need to differentiate between man and machine. When it comes to financial systems, it can protect against Sybil attacks, which is named after a book about a lady with multiple personality disorder, where one person assumes the identity of multiple that they created. It's not about money, it's all about making the world a better place. The WorldCoin Foundation is the initial steward of the protocol, but is intended to become a public open source network owned by everybody, and it could potentially evolve into a global universal basic income, which we're definitely going to need after GPT-5 takes all our jobs for good. That sounds awesome, and I can't wait to just hang out all day and play video games, but WorldCoin has a long uphill battle ahead of itself. The MIT Technology Review released a scathing article last year that alleged deceptive marketing practices among a variety of other issues. And then you already have a black market emerging in China for iris data to exploit the world coin system. The biggest issue though is that people are resistant to look into the orb. The orb is your friend. You must look into the orb. What's funny though is that most of us have already given up all of our facial biometric data to companies like Apple, Meta, and TikTok in a far less transparent way. After the orb verifies that you're a human, your identity is added to a list of verified humans, then the world coin app generates a zero knowledge proof to prove your identity without revealing any of your secret information. In theory, you could be totally anonymous on WorldCoin, but many are skeptical. All right, Shalom. This is Gamali. All out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double lines to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, this quick lesson. And um, it's going to be going into uh, WorldCoin. All right. And um, yeah, you have uh, this. Uh, basically, he just broke it down. Okay. It says, for every human. <laughs> All right. And, um, you know, it's basically a uh, coin on the blockchain, but they give you uh, crypto tokens in exchange for uh, for a scan of your eye. All right. Because essentially they want to, um, you know, collect a database of people's um, of facial recognition, you know. And so, yeah, that's, the, hey, man, it's the world we live in, man. It's the world we live in, you know. And this is WorldCoin. Because I was reading um, this article on blacklistednews.com. All right, it says, The Beast WorldCoin Digital ID System build-out continues with next wave of grants. The second group of startups awarded funded by WorldCoin to work on extensions and applications of its digital identity and iris biometri biometrics, biometric technologies. Wave one of WorldCoin Community Grants Program consists of 17 projects. One of them, to CEO, was awarded a grant as part of Wave Zero. So basically, it's getting funding. You know, they're, they're, they're rolling this thing out in so many words, man. This is what they're rolling out. And so... Yeah, they, they want to, um, these, uh, uh, sit that little orb or whatever that you look into, they said that it can, um, it tells personhood, 
you know, it basically um, establishes personhood. So basically, it can no, you know, no one person is the same, and it can detect that. You know, it know it can basically identify this is that this is this person, this is that person. So this is uh, powerful for uh, Esau to use because we know that he wants to control people, man. We know, we know that he, he's a devil, man. All right. Let me see. I think that's Isaiah thirty. Isaiah 14 and 14, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yeah, because, um, you know, the most high has has basically, uh, uh, well, he's our creator, number one. So he knows who's who, you know, he's able to distinguish everybody. You know, he has a um, a very broad view of the world, you know omnipotent knowing all things or you know uh, all powerful okay um verse uh let me start back up 13 for thou hast said in thine heart i will send and i will send into heaven i will exalt my throne above the stars of the most high i will sit upon also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. All right, so yeah, uh, Esau's devil was trying to sit <laughs> with, you know, he's trying to basically uh, exalt himself uh, with up there with, Yah uh, with uh, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Verse 14, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Okay, it's, it's like I said, he ultimately he, want, he wants to be all knowing he wants to have this device because he wants everyone linked to a one world system. And so you have this world coin, which is basically, uh, and they even said it, it could become a, um, UBI universal ba basic income. So that means that it could be the next, this could be the next, um, uh, world reserve currency, you know, when, when all the, uh, fiat currency collapses, so this is the devil, man. This is who we're dealing with. All right. This is who we're dealing with. <laughs> you know. Um, let's see. Might as well get this. We always go into this. And GMS is the only group. That that goes into the mark of the beast as a collective. Of course, you have other camps. Well, that follow great uh, great millstone. This is Revelation thirteen thirteen sixteen, and he, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Which we know that word mark is karagma. Okay, but everyone's gonna receive a, a mark. OK, where you're going to have to receive that digital RFID implant. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. So we're dealing with a uh, financial system. OK, in which you have to be a part of in order to uh, sell, in order to eat. You know, um, and this is the like I said, this is the devil, man. So, you know, we should keep our eyes on this world coin because this could very well be the next uh, uh, currency worldwide, you know, and um, I, 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 for one, believe that it, you know, I had never heard of it prior to this, to looking it up, but I believe that it will um, spread very fast. Okay, um, so, you know, that's pretty much it. I just want to touch on those things. Lord willing, you edify, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Kakudash, Shalom.